<laughs> finally, hi! Finally. I'm happy to be here. And finally, people ask for you actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have like a, an outline here. Don't look. Okay, okay, I'm walking alone. Don't look. Okay. okay, so first, like, introduce yourself. I'm Danny. I am Chloe's elder sister. I am a new mom. And I'm also a wife. I said that. I can't believe I'm saying that. And I am a content creator. Okay, so how are you? Like, how have you been? I've been okay now. But like, during the start of quarantine, I was I was having like, my minor meltdowns alone. I was very scared for Millie. My daughter seems Millie, if you guys don't know. I was just afraid because she was growing up in the house. Yeah. And that was my fear because we had a great childhood. We were so used to playing outside, having neighbors as best friends, and going home dirty or going home at night. That was my fear that Millie might grow up in the house and not and might not have that. And then school now is going to be online, which is another fear of mine because I was like, wait, hold on. So that means I have to tutor my kid. This is the new normal for me, for you. For Leon, for everybody. But this is the normal of our children. Yeah. This is Millie's normal. What really made me realize that it might have been like really difficult for you? Because at first I was, of course, I was just thinking about myself. Like I was in my own like bubble here yeah. at home. And I thought, oh, like I won't see my friends. I won't go to school. I was worrying about like really small yeah. things like that. And then I just remember when you came over and then you were explaining that you got scared because you saw a kid in your village. Yeah. On a bike, wearing a mask. mask and a face shield. <clears throat> exactly. And you were like... I was so sad about how it. how it's going to be? And that's when I realized, wow, these are things that new parents or just parents in yeah. general have to worry about now. Because not only do you have to worry about their health and safety, you're also worrying about how they're going to be socially. Exactly. Imagine when someone wants to give them a hug. They yeah. might be like, scared yeah. or uneasy because you have to train them now to be safe safe like how will they make friends they're always at home the challenge for parents now how to make things normal still for kids without like it being scary we are looking too far into the future because it may get better yes and probably will get better but at this point we just don't know yeah how much better we're just preparing for managing yeah. our expectations yeah it's like because this we didn't expect this to happen but it did now you just have to think ahead what to do i just okay. hope that she shall have the school experience the playground experience yeah i mean we'll figure it out all together and i guess we'll see how everything pans out yeah but as of right now it's good that you're looking into the future that way even if some people might think that that's thinking negatively. Negatively, yeah. Sometimes it's you just have to prepare and manage your expectations. Yeah, you just have to be realistic, you know. It's just nice to be prepared. And then of course when things get better, then great. What I really wanted to talk to you about is our relationship as sisters and yeah. how it developed as yeah. we got older. Because in my podcast with Leon, I was explaining to him that we would always bicker a lot or we never saw eye to eye because yeah. our age gap was so awkward. Yeah. It was like four years. So let's say when he was 10 years old, I was 14. Yeah. It's so different. Yeah, right? really different. When I was 14, I wanted to go hang out with my friends and he was still playing with toys. Yeah. We wouldn't fight, yeah. but we also didn't have the relationship that let's say you and Julia had. Yeah. Or we wouldn't talk to each other about things. So I never understood the things that you would do. Yeah. Because our age gaps were so big. And then now we understand because I'm 21 and you're at an age yeah. where I'm like... No, we can actually talk sense. more about mature things, about life exactly. now. I can talk to you now about my problems as you can talk to your problems. To me, like, now it's easier. Like, a lot of the things that you went through, now I understand. These things happen and these were the actions that she chose to make because of this yeah now i see that now I because it's so hard for me then to explain because when i was in a dark place in my life you were probably I was like young. 16 I mean, 17 i didn't understand why to me it was i was a bit more close-minded i was like why is it like this yeah what's wrong with her? it's just that i had to do a lot of things to for me to just realize that 
I'm better off doing things away. You have a different way of thinking. You're very yeah. independent in that aspect. You need to do things a certain way to achieve your happiness. Yeah, like I just thought, I just felt like I would grow more if I had full control of my of life. Of course. But I, it had a lot of, like, really bad consequences. I've hurt a lot of people. I've hurt you guys. Of course. Which was my biggest regret in life. But, you know, now that you guys are all older, I can explain now to you guys why that had to happen to me so you won't have to repeat what I did. Exactly. Before, I was very secretive. You yes. guys didn't really know what was going on with me. Now, it's different because I can explain to you guys and you can understand me. Because before, that was my frustration. It's like, oh my God, my siblings might think so like... They might think I'm such a bad person. So now that when I get to talk to you guys in this level, it just makes me happy because now we can understand each other. To be honest, I really respected your growth as a person because I started to be more compassionate towards people because yeah. of your experience. I like to look beyond their actions and understand why these things were happening or why they were making these choices. And that's because of you. Yeah. Because I realized where it brought you. It brought you to such a great, great place. place. Maybe it wasn't the straight path that it should have been in. Yeah, it's not an ideal path. Regardless, you were able to reach a place that's so respectable yeah. and something that we can look up to now. I made that choice already, so I have to show them that I did this for a reason. I didn't do this because I was just being rebellious. Or going crazy. Going crazy. You know, I needed to fix myself because that was the whole point. I didn't know who I was. I was so confused. I was in a dark place. I was making so many poor decisions. And at that point, I'm just glad I met someone that balanced me out. I think Javi coming into my life was very timely. You know Javi. You know how he's very reasonable and how he would talk to you. Like, he's very logical. Logical person. So he really like made sense and just told me that you can be angry all you want, but you're just going to feel that void in your heart if you just keep pushing your family away. You know, he's right. You know, I need my family because I miss you guys every day and then I was just beating myself myself up for it because i said no i have to i have to do something because i want that when they see me i'm already okay i want you guys to say that she did something with her life you know she got better that's also when i realized that a lot of conflict a lot of misunderstanding happens when you don't listen yeah you don't know how to listen or also when you don't know how to communicate and that's something that was very difficult for you then because yeah. you were going through that path of figuring it out you weren't able to really communicate it with us because you didn't know how to how to yet yeah and that's when i realized that growing up what i wanted to be really good at was to communicate, communicate. with yes. people and to be honest yeah. just to be honest i think that's the secret to life yeah it really is the consequences of telling the truth whether it be bad because sometimes the truth is not good mm -hmm. is still smaller than the consequences of lying yeah to me before lying just got me to this let's say if you lie about one thing it's only until here yes. you'll never go far yes. with lying regardless of what it's about let's say about what you're doing or with yourself okay. if you're sad you're sad if yes. you're happy, you're happy. Yes. If you're angry, you're angry. You can't keep lying to yourself. And you can't trick yourself into thinking you're happy when you're not. It's great when you can actually say it to yourself and then to tell people how you feel. Like if you're hurting me, yes. you're hurting me. Yes. And then fix it from there. Yes. And then talk about it. But you can't say, you hurt me today, but... Oh, it's okay. Like I can forgive you. It's not okay. Or it doesn't. It doesn't affect me. But then it shows with your actions. Yes. Like it manifests in Don't a different way. Don't do that because resentment will come in. An important lesson there is also just be honest if you think you're wrong. Yeah. I think everything starts. Growth starts from yeah. admitting that you're wrong. Yeah, and you know what? Saying sorry is not a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. Saying sorry is a sign of strength because it takes a lot. For someone to admit they are wrong and just to apologize for it, that's that that there's a certain strength that comes with it. So when you do something wrong or when you hurt a person, 
saying sorry to them doesn't make you weak. It's admitting that you did something wrong and you want to make up for it. I learned a lot of this from your experience. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm I thank God something that. good came out of that. I started to understand that the world isn't all perfect, and sometimes even if you live a straight life, sometimes things don't Just, go the way as planned. Yeah. That's because we're all human. Yeah. The world doesn't work. Perfectly, no it's how just the way it is. Yeah. Acting. Before, when I when I was your age, I kept lying to myself that I was in a happy, happy yeah. relationship. Yeah. But in reality, I was so sad. Yeah. Really sad. And you guys know that. You would hear me cry every night. You would hear me fight. That does not sound like somebody's happy. I was lying to myself up until I just blew up. And I said, I'm not happy. And the lie there is you thought that your happiness was in that person. Right? Exactly. And and the funny thing is, I did not know what happiness felt like na because I kept tricking myself that I was happy. I only felt true happiness when I had Javi and Millie. Now I can finally say, I am happy. And you mature. You know, like, Javi taught me how to communicate. I did not know how to communicate. I do not know how to express my feelings. But Javi told me, Okay, basically when I would fight him, he would tell me all the time, I'm not gonna know what's going on in your head if you don't tell me. Yeah. So if you want to fix this, tell me what I did wrong, let me make it up to you, and we'll, we'll talk. We talk all the time. When I'm upset, even the littlest of things, let's just say he used my towel and I was upset, <laughs> I tell him I'm upset you used my towel. <laughs> it has worked wonders in our relationship and also our parenting. And I said I needed someone to teach me that. And oh. now like... I'm so open to you guys. Like, let's say, Chloe, I'm upset about this. I'm upset about that. Before, yes, you guys would just, just see. Just keep it in. You just keep it in and you would say, why are you so grumpy? Now, if you're honest with your feelings, it's it's better. I swear, like, you feel better. It, it, feels, it feels great. Before, it was hard for you to be honest because you were afraid that it would harm or hurt your relationship. Yeah. And because you came across someone like Javi who taught you that honesty is actually so much better. Better. And can actually change the way that you feel about yourself and others. Yeah. And can improve your relationships. It really improved every aspect of your yeah. life. Yeah. Now, when I have problems with other people, for me, ha, when you love someone, you're not afraid to hurt them in a way that it, some, they, they will lear- they're going to learn something from it. So if I I love you, okay, not if I love you. If you do something wrong to me, I can tell you straight up, I don't I don't like how you're acting. I don't yes. like how you're talking to me. Mm-hmm. You you're you're becoming so angry and mm-hmm. mean and and stuff like that. And when you love someone, you're not supposed to be afraid to tell that person yes. if they're doing something wrong. Yes. Because when you're afraid, it means you don't really care. Or you're not giving them the you're opportunity. You're not giving them the change. opportunity to change. Exactly. If you love someone, of course you want them to change. You want them to stay in your life. You want you want a continuous great relationship with the person. That's a gift. Yes. Telling someone what's wrong with them is a gift. Yes. Exactly. And a lot of people don't understand that. Because they feel like you're it's an attack. Them. Yeah. But in reality, it's a gift. I'm telling you what's wrong, it's up to you. If you're going to change, that's, yes, or if you're going to do something about it, if they don't, that's on them. At least you were honest. I think that's also how you can tell if the relationship between you and another person is like real, yes, or can withstand anything. Exactly. Because you should be able to look out for them in a way that you're not afraid to hurt their feelings. Yeah. You should be able to tell them something in order to improve not only their life but also your relationship exactly with each other. that's the basis of everything without proper communication and honesty every relationship is going to fall i think the only deciding factor on whether or not it can help a person is the way also you relay that message yeah it, exactly it's just how you say it you know because some people naman kasi when they talk to other people it feels like it's an attack yes it, you, it's also your approach one person cannot fix the problem. It, it, if the problem is between two people, two peop- the, those two people have to fix it together. That It's just the way it is. All problems have two sides kasi. If those two sides don't meet in the middle, then... And two individuals with completely different um, 
understandings or the way they perceive yeah. the situation like you take it in a different way you take it in a, exactly when people ask me like how my life is now i'm so glad i went through it because i i'm not gonna be this person i am now if i didn't go through that you know every person to me has their own way of learning things yeah and we need to be more understanding when it comes to that i think yeah we are so set on thinking that there's only one way to learn no in life other people have different ways of coping with pain it's not because you got through it other people can do or it's not like you got through it this certain way this person will get through it this certain way too how they accept their faults and how they're going to fix their lives that's on them too sometimes let's say if you can move on two in two weeks other people cannot move on for two years and that's totally fine before i was sensitive now i'm okay like if you tell me if you tell me now that hey danny you're like this you're like that and i said ah okay i'll 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 figure reflect. out I'll, yeah. yeah i'll reflect now if you tell me that i'll think back i did something wrong Baka naman, I really did talk to her that certain way. And you, know? you also think if this person is also like, are they telling me this because they care about me? Yeah. Or because they want to hurt me? They want to hurt me. You'll see how they approach you if they actually want to fix things. That's your basis. Both parties have to be willing to forgive, willing to talk, willing to communicate, and willing to fix the problem. If both parties are not, then don't talk yet. This is the thing. I always say that if a person is going down the wrong path in terms of fixing your yeah. relationship with a person and you can't get to them, you don't follow them, you just walk away. It doesn't mean taking the person away from your life. There are plenty of different yeah. ways to walk away. Yeah. Wait for a better time. Exactly. It takes time, you know, like there's a process. I say to myself right now, if I knew that this was going to be my life, would I, would have I made different decisions or I would live that life the same way? And I said, I would live it the same way. You really have to go through things, you know, to, to get to, to where you want to be. And in, in your own personal way. Yeah, in your own personal way. You don't let... Here's the thing. Just don't let... Don't allow people to dictate how you're going to live your life. Or how you should learn. Or how you should learn, how you should feel. Don't allow anybody to do that to you. Like what you said, Clau. I actually learned this from you. You said that you give that person an opportunity to change. People are afraid of the truth because sometimes it can be really unpleasant. Yes. So they'd rather settle for like temporary. Temporary. Happiness, temporary gratification. That's true. You don't realize that the truth might be harder, but it takes you to a much better place. Exactly. In the, long term. the truth is the dark. the The world is a dark place. place. A lot of bad things happen. Yes. Reality is not pleasant. Everyone has to struggle. Everyone struggles in their own yeah. way. Yeah. It's just how you see things and how you change your perspective in things. The like, more you deny it, the more you're stunting it, your growth yeah. and prolonging the process. So you go know. home at night and it's just you. It's just you. And that scares me the most when people have an opinion about it because I feel that when they're paying too much attention on your life, they're not solving their own. Yeah, they're that's not true. They're able to reflect on themselves and give the attention that they need to be giving themselves. Yeah. You're not only robbing yourself of that, but you're hurting me in the process. Yeah. Say if today you have so many anger and so many like resentment towards a lot of people, you unconsciously treat people a certain way. Yes. Okay, and that is where you're gonna burn bridges. Every day, at the end of the day, you always think to yourself, what am I feeling? Who am I angry at? What made me angry? What's hurting me? And then reflect and you say, I have to fix this. You can't be in denial of those emotions when you already know that there's a problem. It will affect you and it will affect the relationships that you come across. And the way you treat people. And it's not because you want to be a terrible person. person. It's because you're just not dealing with your emotions. Emotions, right exactly. Way. If you have it in you to like judge another person's actions and the way that they're living their life. Yeah. Then... It, it, for me, it's so unfair because if you have the time to do that, that means you're not really paying attention to yourself. Yeah, the I'll real be problem. honest, like right now, saying that, that's a realization that I came across, but I still fall victim to that sometimes. Like I do sometimes judge people 
superficially like I look at the externals that I see and I everybody does make that. that assumption yeah but the challenge for me is when I think about it again I try to look deeper into that situation yeah and try to think how am I in any shape way or form similar? yeah yeah because we're all more alike than we think yeah we just notice other people's faults more easily no because i in a way own. in some people it makes you feel better i think it's okay to fall into that sometimes but just recognizing that there's a problem with that and trying yes. to fix that yeah just try to fix it like if you know that you, you yourself are judging people and having a hard time focusing on yourself just try to remember that and bring yourself back to yeah a better no, and also, nice. if you see that there's a problem and you can't handle it on your own, don't don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Mm-hmm. Asking for help is strength, I tell you. Also, I really think that in each person that you come across in your life, there's something that you can take away from them. Yeah, you learn. Every day I learn from you. I learn from Leon. I learn from mom. I learn from my husband no every day. No matter how little, right? No matter how little. I learn new words from Javi every day. That's for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, me too. Like, seriously, like you yeah. learn a thing or two from people that you talk to in every conversation. Whoever it is, right? Whoever it is, regardless of how small. However little they know them, yes. like you still learn. You absorb. Unconsciously, you absorb until you just realize, oh, I used that word. Oh, I know that word now. Or like you know. Or wow, that makes sense. Yeah, you you when you talk to people, you always say, "Oh, wow, yeah." Just be, I think the message is in every relationship because I feel like we I, I don't even follow whatever the hell is here anymore. <laughs> we just started talking about relationships and trying to guard yeah. them and make them grow, grow and meaningful. I think we should just be able to um, recognize that. It's okay to learn from people. Like it's okay not to be perfect and to see like someone change your mind about things. Yes. And just those things. I think that's really important in every relationship. Whether just it's be romantic open-minded. or yeah. friendly or in your family, like relationships in general. Just listen. Listen. Talk. Communicate all the time. And understand. Understand. Don't fight so hard to be understood because more than you know, people are going through the same personal yes. battles. Don't Let's be afraid to offend anybody. Buddy. Especially when you know it's coming from a good place. Place, yeah. That's where I think strangers need to draw the line. Yeah. Because for me, it's you're forming an opinion. You're forming a baseless opinion. Yes. You're saying, you're, you're trying to direct my life and I know that you don't care about me. So... How should I know that that's the right way? Yeah. When we say don't be afraid to offend someone, that doesn't necessarily mean just go offend anybody. Yeah? That's yeah. not what we mean, okay? When you say someone's ugly, it doesn't mean you're changing you're them. You're changing them. No, okay? That's just hurting people's feelings in general. This is within relationships. Help people grow by being honest. That's that's just the that's lesson just of like the day. the lesson, yeah. And I think... <laughs> Today we talked about relationships, but I'm pretty sure people will want to learn more because so far I think you're the eldest guest I've ever <laughs> I mean, on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. So there's more things that we can learn from you, and you've lived more experiences in life that we can learn from, and really just it, it helps us, you know? Yeah. It, it, it helps to listen to people and to learn from what they've gone through. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining. Of course. I'll, I'm just a call away. Yeah, so just let us know if you want to talk about anything else. Yes, I'm always here. So a few things of her own, her adventurous ways. Thanks for having me, Claire. I'm very flattered that she even asked me to be a part of this. Of course, really. everyone asks for when my friends love you. And I'm watch very your happy vlogs. to be here. Thank you to everybody who subscribes to her. She will impart so many things to you guys. Even talking to her, you'll learn a lot of things in a day. Like probably like. You think that I've gone through a lot of things in life, but when you talk to her, parang andamir rin yung pinagdaan. <laughs> really, she's, she always she imparts a lot of things that she unconsciously, like, you know, hindi niya alam that she helps. So I'm glad that I got to do this with you because we, we talk all the time, but, you know, we don't get to sit down yes. and just, you know, talk about so many things for an hour, That's more than really an hour. This. Yeah, yeah, like, Sometimes you just always just need sometimes to talk and sit down with 
people that you trust and just talk about your feelings. But you know, after this, I think it will be my mission to every once in a while when I care about someone, I want to just be able to sit down, yeah. get to know them, understand what I can learn from them. Yeah. And hopefully also have them take away something from, from me. me. Yeah. This is a great platform. I'm very proud of you for doing this because you do not know how many people your age or even older or younger that you're helping out. So... This is a good platform. I'm very proud of you for that, Clau. Really. Thanks, guys. I love you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.